Hey guys, um, so this is my smoky eye for glasses tutorial. Sorry, there are all kinds of reflections on my sh lenses, but I'm too poor for that other extra coat. Um, here's the finished look, and I've I've got a little bit of highlighter, but something that you can do um, and still get some cool definition, do some fun things with your makeup without sacrificing too much because you've got your glasses on and while still keeping it from getting too dark, which is really easy to do with glasses, and then you just end up all shadowy. So stay tuned, and I will tell you all my tricks. Okay, so to start, we are, of course, going to use our handy-dandy Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Um, especially with a smoky eye, you want to make sure you got some of that in there. I think in their new tube, uh, it sometimes comes out a little bit separated. <clears throat> so I try to shake it up. doesn't always seem to work. Um, I don't know. I like the old one better with the wand. Apparently, I'm one of the few. Um... Because I have such dark circles, I like to go ahead and get this in under and over my eyes. Um, if you're going to use brow powder, you can also put that on, go ahead and put it in your brows just to help that last. I like a pencil, it seems to last just fine on its own. Okay, so as my base for this smoky eye, I want to keep it pretty light so I do not get too dark. Um, since with the glasses it gets really dark really fast um, so I want to make sure I do have strong highlights so this is going to be swept across the eyelid um, it's actually one of the Anastasia palettes this one is on set um, it comes with a light kind of peachy and a copper and I'm using the peach one and you can use this with any eyeshadow brush. This is one of the Sephora Pro. Can't read this without my glasses on. Medium shader 234. But with a basic eyeshadow brush, it doesn't really matter what you're using. Um, this Anastasia shadow goes on beautifully, especially with that Urban Decay primer on first. Okay, and I'm actually going to go back with the lighter color from the NARS palette, Sugarland, and go in on the inner third of my eye just to brighten that up a little bit more and take that down. Now, since I want to keep this smoky eye rather simple, this palette is amazing. Um, this is one of another one of the NARS shadow duos. This one is Cordura, um, and I'm actually going to use both of these, and I'm going to take a blending brush. This one, Sephora so used to sell, they don't anymore. I know it looks goofy, but it's my favorite one, and I keep coming back to it. Um, I like to pat and twist when I'm using blending brushes to make sure I get them on all sides, and then finding this corner and finding the crease and just blending that up because I don't have very big eyes um, I don't like to take it very far in as you can see that's pretty subtle still and of course with a smoky eye the real key is blending 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 and adding layers It's kinda like spray painting where you want to make sure you're adding in your layers and since you are wearing glasses, it's going to be easier to get that drama with your eyeliner than with too much shadow. Though I know this is a video about how to get fun shadow with your glasses. Now this dark one, I like this because it does have a good amount, I don't know if you can see that, of shimmer in it. Um, so that's going to give us the light reflecting to again keep it from getting our eyes too much in shadow. I'm going to go in first with this lighter color in the palette. This is just a flat eyeliner brush. This one's one of the old Sephora ones. I don't make these either, um, I don't think. But going in in there. And we're just going to just barely, just how big this brush is, just that inner corner, that's the only part on the lower lash line. 
where I'm going to put in the eyeliner. And I'm going to go in a little bit on my upper too, no more than the halfway point. Because if you take it too far, you're just going to close your eyes up, and that is not what we want. And I'm going to do the same thing with this darker color, and maybe not even take it that far. Because we are going to go over top with the liquid liner. This is just to keep that smoky feel. And you can blend it out a little bit with a blending brush, but you don't want it to get under here, or you're going to get those shadows like you can see from my beautiful vanity lights. That we don't want. Um, now I, I don't know, I guess I kind of got this from painting, but I like to go back and do my highlighter last. I know a lot of people don't. Um, this one's actually by the Bomb Mary Lou Manizer. Uh, this is the sample size I got from Birchbox last month. And as of now, I'm going to use that again with this original brush. Just right in the corner of my eye. And bringing it down. See, see how that brightens it up compared to this one? I know I already did put one highlighter color there, but I'm telling you with the glasses, you really got to make sure that your highlights pop. And so the same with this brow bone. Especially right here. Because when you're looking at your eye, that on this one where I have no highlighter, that is the lightest point. And that's what we want to accentuate for a natural look without looking like a drag queen. So, your makeup doesn't have to be natural, but take your hints from nature. I'm going to work this same highlighter, not directly below my eye, but underneath that eyeliner. This is the biggest hint since you are wearing your glasses to keep your eyes from getting too dark. And it's just going to help to take down what all those shadows and keep you looking bright and airy and beautiful. Now, I know a lot of people um, forget their brows when you've got glasses. I think it's still really important, even though I do have pretty dark eyebrows compared to my skin. Um, so you don't necessarily need to fill in the whole brow. Um, just even it out. I like to make it a little bit stronger arch to keep a really feminine look since my glasses are pretty chunky. I'm using, I just picked this up at Sephora and it's my new favorite felt tip eyeliner pencil. Um, this one is Eco, Ico? Ico London makes more sense. Skinny liquid liner in black. Um, so this is what I use. And when I am lining, I usually start somewhere in the middle and really get down there in my lash line to start and then work it just barely out because we did just make all this highlight. We don't want to make it too dark or too thick. Um, but you do want to make sure you have a nice even line. And so what I like to do for my eyeliner, I know making your eyes match is difficult. Um, I like to bring my wing up from the line that my lower lash line creates. And then if my eyes closed, I like it to be a thickness that it goes straight across, completely horizontal, and then those two meet. It's a very 60s look, very winged eyeliner, more so than a cat eye, um, which I'm fond of. And my eyeliner tends to get a little bit wonky as I go. So it always ends up a little bit thicker than I was planning, but that's okay. Just a little more drama. Um, and I am going to do a full winged eyeliner tutorial. I do wear different winged eyeliners, um, 
So there's my wing, how it's a straight line across, and then it comes up. So, now you can see on this one, I've got a little bit of a pooch right there. Um, I'm just going to go with a wet Q-tip. Unfortunately, I'm out of the pointed ones right now, so I just kind of squish it with my finger like this to make a poor girl's pointed Q-tip. And just clean that up a little bit. Um, it also works really well if you've got moisturizer nearby. Use a little bit of that. It won't get as runny as makeup remover will. Um, so... Next up is mascara. Um, now, my other biggest tip, if you're wearing your glasses, do not forget your curling iron because you want to get those eyelashes up and out of your face. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite way to curl is you've got your traditional, get those suckers in there, and wait your about five seconds, tilt, and then squeeze again. And this is going to get you the real sky high curl. So, I don't know if you can see the difference between mine. I don't have any mascara on, so it's hard. Um, so, squeeze once, twist, and squeeze again. Now, as far as my mascara goes, this is actually new. I trying it with you guys for the first time ever. It's nice, it has a little mirror on the back. So I'm gonna give that a go. Um, it's supposed to be super lengthening and they say you should twirl it around in the bottle. Um, so we'll see. Hey guys, so I went in and finished my face. Um, I haven't done my hair or put on any kind of normal clothes yet, so don't hate me, it is Sunday night. Um, and this is the look with the glasses actually on, though I wish I could get you know, not the reflection. Um, and just with this, again, I didn't go through this, but you really don't want to wear mascara on your bottom lashes. If you do, stick with that outer corner right there. Um, and I actually didn't do this. I was planning on it, but didn't um, go through. And you can do that a little bit darker either with a liquid liner, um, your eyeshadow, just to bring that corner a little bit more dramatic. Um, so yeah, you can go over to my everyday makeup routine if you want to see how I did my face. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.